Close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing most prominently in the body. Focus your attention there. And let it be comfortable. The mind needs a sense of comfort in the present moment, and you can provide it with a breath. There's no need to stick with whatever breathing is uncomfortable, because you can change. Make it longer, shorter, faster, slower, deeper, more shallow. You have the right to make the change. So take advantage of that. As the Buddha said, we're not totally subject to past karma or outside forces. Our experience in the present moment is partly shaped by our own intentions. In fact, if it weren't for our own intentions in the present moment, we wouldn't experience it. So try to get sensitive to that fact, that we're here creating our world. We want to create it well. Because when we create it well, then we can also help other people with theirs too. When we're doing a bad job with ours, our hands are full with all our suffering. But we, when we do a good job inside, then we have more to offer to other people. Because when we're meditating, it's not just us. The mind sends out a current of energy as it meditates. And it's a good current. are very different from the currents we send out as we go through the day, getting involved in greed, aversion, delusion. Those currents are erratic, a lot of static. Like a radio station is sending out lots of pops and fizzes and other things. The other people tune in, they really don't want to listen. It creates a lot of noise for them. But if you send out a good signal, then people tune in and they've, they've got a good signal to listen to. So whether it's sending the signal to people who are still alive or people who have passed away, try to send a good signal. Create good energy inside. And then think about broadcasting out. We have thoughts of goodwill, thoughts of gratitude, thoughts of forgiveness. All the good thoughts that make human society a good place to live, we can create those from within. The goodness of our minds doesn't have to depend on things outside being good. We have our own independent energy source here, and it's totally renewable. In other words, you don't run out of goodwill, unless you don't learn how to take care of your broadcaster here. So this is one of the things you're doing as you stay with the breath. You're taking care of the energy you're sending out. You can't help but benefit. The people around you have to benefit, too. So look after this generator you've got inside. Because that's one of the most important lessons that the Buddha had to teach, is that we're not totally passive recipients of things. The fact that we're suffering comes from our own actions. The world outside may not be a good place. There may be all kinds of strife and trouble going on. But that's not the reason why the mind suffers. The mind suffers because we don't know how to handle input like that. We cling to things that we like, and then they change. And even if they don't change, you know, we cling to them. And the fact that we have to cling, that means there's a lot of suffering right there. So look inside. Take care of this generator inside. To make sure it generates good things, good energies going out. We come into this world not to just take in beautiful sights, nice sounds, nice smells, tastes, tactile sensations. I mean, that's the way some people do come into life. That's what they want out of life, and they will do anything they can to get those things. But we're not like that. We've realized that we come into this life so that we can create goodness. We can generate goodness. Generate the desire to abandon unskillful qualities, generate the desire to de develop skillful qualities as part of the path. To make sure your generator is in good shape and it's sending out good energy. You will benefit and the people all around will benefit as well.